All right, hello everyone. This is G Shock High Fashion Channel. Today I'm going to share with you uh, something that's supposed to be very new. Well, not that new. I already made and disassembling video before on the channel. Here it is, another one. Yeah, I'm just gonna open up all the pen and bezel, all these parts. The main tool for this. Uh, process just this guy I'm just gonna use one single tool because I don't think most of you guys out there have all those complicated tools laying around anyway which some of them are pretty hard to get as well so just one tool that I found but does have few of this uh, attachment over here so to open up this I'm just gonna use this so since this is just a beginner level so you don't need all those complicated tools anyway for advanced level or intermediate you're gonna need this as well to disassembling the engine in there but for now I'm not gonna go that far alright firstly I'm going to remove the screws for the bezel which is on this side first it's very easy because I could let me try to zoom out alright there it is it's so easy because I could press the screw head at the same time rotating it so it's nice find a, a screwdriver like this because it's way better so and I have this thing, a medicinal, uh, what is this, daily thing, I'm not sure what to name it, but anyway, I'm just gonna add the screws in there. First one done, number two, I like the this case as well because we could add a lot of things in here actually. So, Alright, number two goes in there. I already opened up this G-Shock actually to clean it up, so that's why you won't see any dirt at all left in here. And then I assemble it back so that I could make this video, and that's it. Alright, after I remove the screws, I usually will remove the lug first before I remove the watch bezel, watch the band, and then the bezel. So, Alright, now wrap this thing up. Alright, to remove the lug on here, you need a specific tool for lug remover, but since i going on a budget right now, I'm gonna use this thing and it. This is the standard uh, Philip head screwdriver. Picked it up, look at that, standard head. The one that I used just now, the plus shape uh, somewhere. There it is. Standard head, standard screwdriver basically for, to open up the screws. So you get the idea. Now, open up this thing, so pull this thing out, put this thing back in there. I really like the construction of the head. It works like the drill, the electric drill. And it's, it's all fine, all right. Now, all you need to do is just look, uh, this part is very hard to show because I don't think this camera picked it up, but all you need to do is, man, it's pretty hard because the surface is soft. I need to make this process on a better surface actually. How about on top of this thing? There it is. All right, and a few attempts is needed, but finally get it done. Look at that. This is the spring bar, and how it works that you need to pull this thing over here, push it down. So that's what I just, that's all that I'm doing just now. Push this thing back out and push the watch band out. It is spring mode because it has springs in there. So that's why I call so. Put this thing in this there and now uh, let's remove this part so similar thing again it's better to place the wash on top of a hard surface all right very very hard to do it but there it is man pull this thing out push in there close the lid and we are done with this easy part yeah that was the easiest part actually let's zoom back out push this thing or if you want to remove this uh, this buckle over here you need another tool you could just use a needle or in my case right now I have this another head that will be used or should be used to open up the uh, an iPhone screws but since the head is very thin I could just Press the spring bar in here, 
and it will open up. Let me try to find the spring. Here it is, yeah, on this side. And push it again. Same thing again, there it is. I'm able to remove this. So this way, or this process is easier. Now you could uh, put all of this, all this buckle parts in the case in there to use it back after this. And now you could remove this band keeper over here if you want to clean it up or you want to custom paint it. So that's how you do it. Put this thing over here. Fits just nicely in there. So that's why I like this case. So now this thing is done. If you want to clean this thing up, if you want to custom paint it, do whatever you like. All right, put this thing aside. And now the harder part is removing the bezel. I already removed the screws and all you need to do now is just this part is very very hard actually if you want to do it properly you could do so but in my case right now I'm just on a budget I don't want to purchase any more tools on it to do is force it of course put this thing this Philip head screws in there just let it below it the crucial part that you need to uh, take care of is this below region or below this button over here this part is so tiny it's easier to break if you force like over force it There it is. So all I need to do is just push this thing in there, push the button if necessary, and put use your nails. Pull this thing up at the same time. Try to push the button down as well. All right. Remove this one button already. That's that. Now push this thing. And and I believe I just broke the bezel actually. There it is. Yep, I already broke the bezel over there. That's fine. Because this one is in a used condition anyway, I don't mind it at all. Alright, I just force it. There it is. And this two part, look at that. Look at how small this region is. I'm not sure why they actually make the part small. They could just cut this part out and just be done with it, you know. Because this part not gonna come up that easy anyway. And where's that? Alright, that's there's it. This part been removed. The bezel is out, it's all done. I already cleaned it up so it looks clean now here it is this is the watch look at that this is the unique part about this model they have this ring up here that most 6900 look like model didn't have this metal part tops all those you could remove this part as well because it's just been clipped with this black region over here Let's try to zoom in there is some black part over there so you just clip on there you just push thing up but it's gonna be a more advanced or intermediate level. In this video, I'm just gonna show you guys how to remove that, the watch band and bezel, and show you guys how the construction is. So this will be the buttons. It will be has spring and also the button shaft down there as well. So look at that. Make sure you won't, uh, don't miss this part because this part's pretty hard to get if you miss them. So this is the circle shape button. There's the button shaft down there. So this part is simple, and you have this metal part over here that most G-Shock didn't have. Look at that. Now, I believe this part is connected all the way up here and goes all the way following the shape of the watch and into the solar panel in there. And I believe that's how the battery was charged. I might be around here if you know what the main purpose, the original, the actual, the true purpose of this metal part over here. Do leave a comment down below, but look at that. It makes the watch looks really, really cool. Just added this metal part over there. And that's some of the easy part. Now, let's go with a little harder, which is should be, you know, all you guys should know how to do this is anyway. So, by which that that is removing the back plate for this model, and just have a look what's inside here. You know, why not? Why not? All right, let's clean this mess up first. This part is very very easy actually. All of you guys can do it without. I believe yeah you need to remove the watch band first you don't need to remove the bezel anyway to do this all right just in case you want to swap the battery to a new one because this one I'm using now uh, the watch is over here is over 10 years old already the top solar or the or the rechargeable battery on here has already expired so I should remove the battery anyway but I don't have any spare extras laying around so I not doing so unless I get it first so this will be the back plate look at that 
we'll bring it up here this will be the uh, if i'm not mistaken this will be used for the beeping tone this is sort of like a buzzer for this model this is what makes the watch beep each, each time you press the button actually and up here is the o-ring that was used in here look at the shape of the o-ring it looks very very odd like not circle that shape in there shape 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 over there I'm not gonna uh, touch anything over here you should grease this part back not yeah grease it back for water resistance I'm not gonna do it over here but you can see that this part is already dry no more oil over there for uh, the 20 bar water resistance so this will be the floating module look at the holes over there so this tiny holes here makes the module uh, float inside the watch so here it is about to remove this I would recommend or suggest you guys to use a proper tool this will be the absorber for this watch and there it is remove it back over there and we have this spring a tiny spring popping up there let's try to zoom it I hope the camera picked it up all right here is this is it this is the spring don't lose this don't lose this spring this is what connects the watch to this buzzer up here and make the watch beep if you lost this the watch won't produce any sound at all all right i don't want to remove all this although it's fairly easy so i could just pop this thing out actually you know what i'm not gonna move anything on here because i will make this uh, another video just to explain on uh, battery replacement uh, process on a g-shock but on another model in this uh, model it is already a top seller model so it's gonna be a pretty advanced type of video so i won't demonstrate over here for now and i believe that sums up the all the things that i have to share on this very video i'm just going to show you guys how the interior of a g7210 g-shock looks like so it's not standard like the rest of the model they actually need to design the external and also the internal of the watch to make the watch usable and have all those interesting function that we all love or that we all have been complaining about all right that's all you guys now i have to reverse the process and assemble everything back in and i don't know just wear the watch all right that's all guys i hope you guys found this video useful informative and entertaining as well for your future reference leave a like if it does help you and also subscribe to see more content like this in the future i will disassembling more and more g-shock in the future from beginner to intimidate all the way to the advanced level soon so for now this is it this is just the beginning thank you very very much for watching again guys this is g-shock half fashion channel and i'll